Good morning, guys. So, I am heading to Mexico today. All right, so I'm already checked in and stuff, so I'm just gonna go straight to the security. And it's pretty empty, so nice. So, I'm through security already. Less than five minutes. This is the final. Gotta get used to talking with it. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm outside waiting for my taxi. My Uber, let you see. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. So you guys, I remember I had spaces and my teeth were like here, 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 I had spaces here. I know I said a king room, but it's okay. 
สวัสดีDid like some security questions, make sure nothing actually your purpose of your trip, and uh, if anyone gave you anything to take, and then uh, they want to see my COVID. So guys, I got stopped so that I can fill out a paper. Uh, it's like a questionnaire. I'm gonna fill out date, airline. So I'm gonna go over here and fill out. It's crowded over there. It's still COVID time. So yeah, let me get my pen. This is what it says. So date, airline. Dear passengers, due to the current situation caused by the health emergency, we press upon your questionnaire must be completed. Let me hurry up and get that done. to get into all details from start to finish 
So I wrote down a little um, little thing to keep me on track with uh, everything as far as not to let, um, not to forget to do. So let's start with where I went and not only where I went, but uh, the name and how you can get in contact with them. So we will start with their name. I'm trying to pull it up because last time I didn't say it right. So Ametista Estetica Dental. So I'm putting the screen, uh, screenshot of it. Um, they have multiple locations. They have Guadalajara, Monterey. This is all Mexico, by the way. Uh, Cancun, so in case you want to take a vacation, you know, and then go get your teeth done at the same time. Uh, Mexico City, CDMX, also known as. Uh, that's where I went, which I highly recommend. Uh, Tijuana, a lot of people that you see that did vlogs about it, they went to Tijuana. Uh, they have Algodones. Nuevo Laredo, and then another two or three locations. So you can pick the location you want. You find out when they have availability. So the way I would do it is start with looking at airfare. Look at the airfare. I did just um, look to see, just to show you guys um, what pricing would be for just a regular economy ticket uh round trip from atlanta to mexico city like 287 dollars so add that into your budget of what you would spend all total to get your teeth done uh next it would be hotel i did one night so i went there flew in and then went straight to the facility to get it done i stayed the night in Mexico City in the uh, hotel and then I flew out the next day so after you do your research on your airfare play with the dates I highly suggest Google flights Google flights it's showing you different days different options different airlines um, and then shows you if you move at this date what it will be things like that so it's very helpful to gauge with pricing so there goes that then we got hotels hotels super cheap i saw some for like 23 a night i don't normally go for the lowest because i'm like paranoid i'm thinking it's gonna be bed bugs or it's gonna be cockroach flying out so i try to say four and five star hotels um especially with the pricing so low it's not going to be that much so i stayed at holiday in express mexico aeropuerto which is an ig hotel i chose that because i have rewards with ig and i like to add them in so later on i'll have a lot of rewards so i use that um i did it through booking.com which is also something i use uh, i have many many platforms that I use, but booking.com is one where I like to get rentals, things like that. So I got booking.com um, and I get rewards with them and then I also get my rewards with IHG. So double win. So there's that. So hotel, airfare. Now price it out, of course, before you book it and then talk with Amatisa. Now they're going to, when you initially talk to them, say, hey, I would like to get veneers. And they initially will say, okay, I'm going to need you to send in pictures of your teeth like this. And I'm put it up in the corner there. So once you send those, they say, okay, yeah, um, we can do it. They tell you the price and they tell you to um, which location you would like. So from there... I would go back to making a mental note of the flights that you looked at. So let's say you looked at Cancun, let's say you looked at Mexico City, you saw a price difference that looks better. 
you know, go with a better plan for your budget. Or if you say, hey, let me make it a vacation. I'm going to go turn up in Cancun, go do this, go do that, and, and then go get my teeth done and go home. So all depending on your lifestyle, what fits you. So from there, you know, tell them the dates that you're interested in, and then they'll tell you the times. You see if it works for you. You lock it in with a $300 deposit, which is what I did. The $300 deposit was through PayPal, which is, by the way, secure. Um, so you don't have to worry um, if um, any scamming goes on, which it's not. I know for a fact it's not a scam, but um, for a fact, you will get your money back in case of any mishaps because PayPal is very adamant on making the customer always right almost. So, which can be backfire for honest businesses and scammy customers. So, yeah, so that's that. So, um, let's move on to the price. The price I paid, are you ready? Ding, 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 drum roll please. $2,500 USD, by the way. So that 300 that I put for the deposit came out of the 25. So when I got there, I paid the 2,200 balance and I was able to get my teeth like this. So yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go into the procedure, everything, how it felt and stuff like that too. But um, we're just talking about the basics. So lock in that price, $2,500. Um, it doesn't change depending on your teeth. My teeth had spaces. I didn't have any overbites or any crowding. I just had spaces. So they just had to fill in spaces with, you know, what they did. So um, next would be what does that 2500 include so i'm going to go to the actual message from amatista when they tell you exactly what it comes with so oh i should have had this pulled up right i should have been doing it while i was talking multitasking multitasking there you go so 10 veneers on top and 10 on bottom the pen 10 and at first I'm counting my teeth. I'm like, is that going to be enough? Because like, I guess because the spaces, I didn't really understand if it would be enough, but it's enough. Because look, you don't see anything of my old teeth. They in there. All the way up in the back. Hanging out like, hey, y'all the new guys. Okay, I see you. So yeah, so 10 on top, 10 veneers on the bottom, a deep cleaning and a gum trimming if needed. So for those of you that might have like gums coming through your teeth or, you know, just over your teeth, just, you know, like uh, attacking it, they'll do that. Um, I think she did a little bit on mine. Um, I didn't think I was going to need any gum trimming, but um, I saw like a little tool that she was using. So I didn't ask questions, which, by the way, I'll get into the language barrier. But yeah, so that is what is included in the price so we moved on from the price and now we're going to move on to the experience so i get to mexico city and i looked it up i had googled and see what was the best way to get around last time i was there i think we got a taxi from the airport i highly suggest not to do that because you save more money with uber so I'm normally a Lyft person because I like to get Sky Miles with Delta. Best airline, by the way. But um, I like to get Sky Miles. So you get Sky Miles with Lyft, their partner. So I usually use Lyft if I ever do um, take like a taxi. Normally I like to rent cars. But for this one day trip, it wasn't really necessary. So, and then plus, you know, having to find parking and like that when you don't know. I was like on a time constraint because I wanted to be in and out. So I got, I landed around 11. My appointment was for two o'clock. I got the Uber. Um, this is my first time using Uber in like years. So I noticed they wanted a code when you got in there. There's a language barrier for those of you who do not speak Spanish. And I will attest that I do have a minimum knowledge 
of Spanish. I grew up in a Spanish neighborhood and I learned Spanish in all, pretty much all my years of going to school. That was always the language that I took. So I definitely know basics. And actually, if you talk really pretty slow to me, I would pick up on certain words. I'm like, okay, that means that, that means that. And then kind of like break it down in my own way. So, um, there's a language barrier, put it like that. But nothing that Google Translate cannot fix if needed. So I highly suggest to download Google Translate. Um, I'm not sure what plan you have for uh, your phone carrier. I have T-Mobile. T-Mobile is good in Mexico, Canada, and US, of course, for calls, texting, and internet. And then when I go out of the country, I have an international plan since I travel a lot. So I'm never switching from T-Mobile, by the way, because I get free internet on uh, my flights as well, which is a plus. So um, not getting off topic. So yeah, we are talking about, okay, so back to what I was talking about. So I get in the Uber, um, I figure out what he's trying to say. He's saying the code. So I went in my app. I wasn't really seeing it, but I played around with it. And then I saw like the notification about a code. So I got the code. We got there in about 30 minutes. It was super simple. The driving guys, the driving. <laughs> it's not for the week. Uh, I'll tell you that much, but um, the driving, it is what it is. But we got there safe and pretty fast. It was about 30 minutes drive. And guys, the price for that Uber was 185.79 Mexican pesos. I didn't really realize till I got home and I started looking at my bank transactions and I was like, oh my gosh, it was that cheap. Guys, it was only $8.68 and I tipped him 10 Mexican pesos. It was only 49 cents. I was like, oh man, I could have tipped him more at least, sheesh. But yeah, so that's that. I got there, I went in, I got there early. So I got maybe around 11.30ish, 11, 11.45ish. Excuse me. So I got there around 11.45. Um, my appointments were two. No one at the moment that was there spoke English. And they had someone in the chair and then they had another office on the side. Um, so they, I kind of, I told them I knew un poquito español. Un poquito means a small amount of Spanish. <laughs> so I know enough to get me by and learn. I know, you know, a few words. So she said, okay, we can start on the paperwork and stuff. Um, so she was using Google Translate and then she said, well, my translator, he doesn't come till 12. And me, of course, knowing that I came early, if they can accommodate me, I'm all for it. I mean, I'm here for the night anyways. I just wanted to just get in and get it done. I was just eager and, it, you know, just eager. So I was very happy that they accommodated me earlier. So we started, um, the translator got there and he was able to help me go through the paperwork. The paperwork that you got to do, basic paperwork saying um, your history, medical history, because, you know, it is a dental procedure. So your medical history, uh, what else? Basic liability stuff, privacy stuff, um, basically, and, you know, the privacy rights, things like that. Uh, and that's about it. And then payment, of course. Payment, uh, they take PayPal. Um, I paid with my card. They take cash. Um, I highly suggest paying with your card, wink, wink, because my balance was 2200 And when I got back, they pay in pesos. So it was 44,000 pesos. And when I looked at my card, it definitely didn't come out to 2200 So I highly suggest doing that or maybe paying in pesos. You might still win. So yeah, uh, that is how it started. So when I went, they started with doing a cleaning to my teeth. They cleaned it. Uh, then this was actually before the translator got here. So they cleaned it even before I made my payment. 
Then I went back, went in the lobby, and then the translator got there, then we did the paperwork. Then I went into the chair because the other person was done. Uh, so the main chair was ready for me. So I went there, um, she started doing a deep cleaning, getting everything, you know, out of there, and then the gum trimming. And I mean, I don't really know exactly all procedures because if maybe she spoke English, I would have been able to say, oh, what you doing now, what you doing now? So I had little moments where I asked questions. I'm a question asker, I like to know. So, um, yeah, I did have my moments where I asked. I'm like, okay, well, you know, what you doing now? Or are you doing this and this, this, this? So the uh, color that I chose was Hollywood White. Now I did that because I saw a video of someone that mentioned they did it and they chose the natural white, which it's fine, it's natural, it's still white. But over the course of the years, you know, you might, depending on your lifestyle, if you drink coffee, if you smoke cigarettes, uh, things to stain your teeth, uh, just normal teeth, really, uh, then it's probably best to go Hollywood white because eventually things might, you know, stain a little bit or get a little discolored. But it's not a major focus of mine because I plan if need be, I can always just redo it. I mean, the price is so inexpensive and it was painless by the way. So let's go into how long it took. It took about five hours, might've been less. I stopped to kind of look at it and tell her, you know, if I thought it was this or that and everything was good, you know, every time she told me and I was like, okay, yeah. Um, she had asked me, and you like this, right? You feel behind it, it was a little bumps but she wasn't done, but she just wanted to ask just to see what she needs to work on while she's working on it. So I told her, so she did that and that was pretty cool. And um, I really like them. I love them actually. Uh, the first, <laughs> well, I'll get into the first night, but let's start with um, after it was done, uh, she let me, you know, check it out, see if I like it. Then I did, um, she did some, like video shots going like this, which is on their page. You'll see different people um, that get the procedure done. They do, they have like, show you how Matisse smile and they go like this. Eh. So you'll see before and then you'll see after. I'm dreading the before, oh my gosh. So yeah, so, um, and then there's also a video that they do and you tell them it was the timing and and how you your experience was and stuff like that. So I agreed to do that too, because um, I was very okay with my smile and happy with my smile and satisfied. So I definitely don't mind assisting them with their um, promotion and their Instagram. So uh, then I called my Uber after everything was done and I took, so I decided, let's talk about hotel. I decided to go with a hotel close to the airport and before I was going to pick one that was closer to the facility, and then I thought about it, like mm, my flight's early in the morning. I'd rather not have to rush, you know, just in case anything, maybe I oversleep or whatever, then rush to the airport, miss my flight. So I decided to stay close to the airport. So my hotel was 10 minutes away from the airport and um, the Uber to go to the hotel, which was 30 minutes about, uh, was 129 and 96 Mexican pesos, which when I, and I gave a $10, Mex 10 Mexican pesos tip. Once again, I did not know, it didn't really dawn on me the currency exchange. So I thought I was doing good because I normally, when I tip out here, I do five, $10. So I'm thinking, okay, $10 sounds like, okay. Again, it was only 49 cents, that $10 tip. And the trip was $6.33 USD when I looked at my bank. So that was, you know, we'll add it up in the end and see how much, you know, in cabs and stuff. So that's how much I spent to get to the hotel. So I got to the hotel, I booked it on booking.com and I pay at the hotel and um, 
I paid. I pretty much asked them, you know, about food because at this point, I only had two hours of sleep because my flight was early in the morning. I went straight, got my teeth done. I was falling asleep in the chair, by the way. I wish I could have recorded that. But yeah, I kind of dozed off and I was like, mm. and I was like, oh, shoot. Like, <laughs> hopefully nothing messes up. So, uh, that was that. I got to the hotel. I asked them about food. Breakfast is included, by the way. I like to get things that are included because it offsets the price. So even if I pay $5, $10 extra for the room, I'm getting breakfast included. So like, I don't have to go and source food early in the morning, go looking for a place to get food. So that was important to me. Um, breakfast is my most important favorite meal because it's like your energy booster to get you going through the day. And I know I gotta travel, so I'm like, no, I gotta have some breakfast. So 6.50 is the time that breakfast starts to 11 and it's included. So that was a plus. So a thing, a tip to look for when you're looking for hotels. Uh, so it's offsetting less expense. So I go into the restaurant, which was really nice. It was in the hotel. The hotel was actually pretty cool. And, um, I ordered food and they actually had 24 seven room service, which I could have ordered upstairs, but I wanted to look at the menu, just see kind of, I also am kind of nosy, want a glimpse at what the area looks like. <laughs> so if I trust the food, nothing to do with the culture, it's about the cleanliness. So um, I was like, okay, yeah, I like this. It looks cool. So you just never know. So yeah, so it looked cool, so I ordered, and my food came up to, and I think that was with the tip and everything, I tipped her like 20%. And it came up to 337 Mexican pesos with everything, which was $16.86, and you guys saw in my video in and the I beginning, or in the burger and fries. time when I was at the hotel that I got a burger, That's with a big things. burger, I didn't even finish it, and um, french fries, and... Uh, it was, oh, I got this big pitcher of natural, freshly squeezed um, pineapple juice. That's what I picked, piña. Piña, that sounds cool, right? So yeah, it was good. I couldn't finish that burger because it was really big. And this was my first time eating with the teeth. All right, so it was the first time eating with the teeth. And I'm not gonna lie, when you first, start to bite into it is like oh this feels different so you're going to be adjusting to it like even now i'm still adjusting a little bit to talking um i am good with the eating the eating i had some food on the plane and um it was pretty normal but the talking is still like i feel like i want to talk like this but yeah I'm getting used, like my mouth structure is getting used to having no spaces. <laughs> so yeah, now let's go into what they gave me, which is this right here. It's a guard. So they did a mouth mold after my teeth was done and it's like a clay. And then the clay, they made this. I don't know, I didn't see them make it, so I don't know. They cut the thing out like this. You see it? Doesn't even look like I have anything on. It is, excuse me, like a retainer. And it's really for like those who grind their teeth and stuff like that. It's to help you to not chip your teeth. Cause some people grind their teeth in their sleep. And I saw one video from a girl that got her teeth done and she's like, oh, I don't grind my teeth in my sleep. So I'm good. And then she didn't know but she really did. So she had like a chip or something and she went and got it done. By the way, I believe you get a certain amount of time, like a warranty to get anything fixed. Uh, I'm trying to see if I see it here. Oh yeah, so it's a six month warranty. I'm gonna read this to you guys, but it's a six month warranty on bite adjustment fracture. No restrictions or costs at any Amatista Estetica dental location. So that means you can go, you did it in Mexico City, but you wanna to go to Cancun to fix it, you're able to do so. 
You also get two deep oral hygiene free of charge from the day of your dental improvement until six months later. So, two deep oral hygiene. So deep cleaning, uh, pretty much. And then from month six, any repairs will have additional cost. So at that point, I mean, even at the point of going to get the deep oral cleanings, if it's not like a chipped tooth, I don't know, unless you're on vacation and you're out there, then, but are you really gonna go and book a ticket just to do that when you go to your dentist if you have insurance? But it's up to you guys. I mean, I probably would because I like to get on the plane for any little thing. So if it's a reason to get on the plane, I'm doing it. But yeah, so, uh, and then they say, for no reason would there be a refund, of course. You're not gonna get new teeth and then be like, I want a refund. I mean, unless you don't like it, but guess what? They're not gonna let you leave if you don't like it. They're gonna fix whatever it is. I didn't have that issue, so, but I know from the way she kept acting, okay, you like it? Like, even throughout the process, like, my first top row was done. Do you like it? Yes. Any issues, any bumps, you shouldn't feel this, you shouldn't feel that. So, very thorough, very thorough, very professional. Uh, it was a really good experience to the point where I'm actually taking my husband the next week to go get his done. His birthday is next month, turning up to Africa. So, I'm gonna have another vlog for y'all. So, yeah, um, that is what's going on with their rules. So, I do have a paper from them, which is just they gave me two papers oral hygiene and brushing, and then this one is indications and recommendations for daily care of dental improvement so these are the only i think this is all the papers i got from them basically telling you i'm not gonna really read through it because if you do it you'll be able to get it too so basically tell, here we go so yeah basically telling you what to do um for hygiene how to brush how to floss make sure you brush at least three times a day, two minimum, two minutes minimum. Um, what else? Flossing. They even showed you me how to brush, so like brush down and that, and then um, how to floss, how to like put it in, and then don't like to swipe it down, but like pull it out. So that was uh, pretty much all the different things that they told me to do uh, what else does it say visit your dentist every six months have your mouth examined and professionally clean so as normal you treat it like your normal teeth and even more so because maybe some of you didn't treat your normal teeth that good treat this one good okay you paid your money whether it's inexpensive to you or very expensive to you treat it as an investment so you want to take care of your investment right so yeah to give you confidence and boost your smile i'm gonna give you a close-up anyhow so yeah so let's go into that so we talked about the price we talked about how to pay we talked about different things um that you might need to look into before you book uh, we talked about my hotel. My overall experience with Amatisa was wonderful. I recommend, of course, going to Mexico City because that's where I went. I know the prices would be less than Cancun because Cancun is like a Miami. So it's like you're going for party life. So it's going to be higher priced. Um, I specifically choose it be chose uh, Mexico City because the flights... We're pretty straight um, forward. And even though we have flights to Cancun, I just was like, oh, Mexico City, I'd be in and out. And I just chose Mexico City. If I did Cancun, I probably would have took the kids. So it's good I didn't. Because then I want to spend more money. And the whole point of this was to save money. So overall, um, I enjoyed my time uh, in Mexico City and at Amatista Estetica. They are highly recommended. And by the way, the name of this is, it's composite bonding. So it's not the veneers where you shave down your teeth. So I didn't have to shave down my teeth. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, my teeth are still intact completely. They're cleaned and 
this is bonded on so it goes on and then they had the stuff that they put it's like a little lamp thing that she put on now uh another thing that I didn't mention was it was painless now everyone's pain tolerance is different i tell my husband that all the time like when i get tattoos i'm okay or you know certain things i'm okay but i don't know how he would do it so we're gonna see when he goes but um you do get a needle it's about this big maybe the needle um part and um it goes into your gums to numb your gums so it's probably about 10 to 15 six maybe maybe three here three here and then three down here something like that so that was like the only part that was a little, a little cringy but um other than that during the whole process it's pretty you know pain free so last but not least let's talk about my on my way back because you know with COVID things have changed, things are different. So I took my Uber uh, to the airport from where I was at, which was 10 minutes away. My Uber cost 59.93 uh, Mexican pesos. And I give a $10 tip again. And it came up to 2.92 plus my 49 cents tip. So, um, sorry about my dog in the back. So, uh, Overall, with taxis, we're talking about less than $20 in total that I spent. And it was 30 minute ride there, 30 minute ride to my hotel, and 10 minute ride to my, um, to the airport. So I get to the airport, airport was kind of crowded. It was a little intimidating when I pulled up. I was like, ooh. So I'm glad I came like a little early, but it's just probably just people hanging out because it wasn't, the security line wasn't long. But so I go, I check in. When I go to check in, they ask you just three security questions or three or more. Uh, did anyone give you anything to take? How long was your stay? What was the purpose of your trip? Um, and that was it. And then they looked at my COVID test. Now let's talk about that. I initially had asked about um, COVID testing, if I need to take it there. And you know, the answer that I got was that I did, but then I kind of looked at the wording on the CDC website and different websites for the US traveling or travel CDC website, one of those websites, but a few of them. It says you need to have a negative COVID test three days within 72 hours from your departure. It doesn't say where you have to get it. It just says 72 hours from the departure. So I went with that. So in case there was any kickback, I'm gonna say, here you go. This is the pull up. I'm a person that likes to bring facts. So I went to CVS on the day before my trip, literally like the evening before. So like seven o'clock at night, I got those results. Um, I went and did it. And then my trip was in the morning. So that's 24 hours would be seven o'clock the next day. 48 hours would be seven o'clock the next day, which I was already gone. So I was within, I was probably been about 30 hours or maybe, yeah, about 30 hours or less uh, from the last time that I took the test. So I got my negative test and I was able to show it. They didn't even question it. They just look at the date, make sure your name, make sure your date of birth is there, boom. So I did that. I went, I checked in, got my boarding pass. I went to the security. I thought my boarding pass, everything was already, they give you like little stickers on your passport so they know that they check things. So I got there and they speak only Spanish and they're like, oh, they showed me a code, which I thought I remembered about it last time that I did on my phone. So I said, oh, on the phone. And she didn't really understand. So she pointed me to go over to another table where the guys had paper ones. So guys always travel with a pen when you are traveling. I always keep at least one or two pens because especially when you're traveling international, you might have, um, forms to fill out. So I always just have a pen handy. So they gave me a form to fill out. It was just basic COVID information, like where, uh, I believe where you stayed. Uh, and did you come in contact with anyone with COVID, things like that. Just basic, same things pretty much that the US acts, which is in the testation form. So I did that, I filled it out and I went to the security. Security was, it looked like there was a lot of people, but it was empty. I went through the TSA within less than five minutes. I will bring up, however, when you go through the TSA, you don't have to take off your shoes. However, I don't know what beeped, 
I maybe my watch, I don't know. But I put all my belongings in the, the belt that goes down and then they check you and then like, it just, it was kind of weird the checking. Like they like want you to lift up your boot. I didn't have on boots. I had like, you could basically see my ankles. So that was that. So then I went to go get my bag. It looked like she wanted to go through my bag. But when I told her I didn't speak English, I said, un poquito espanol, that's what I always say. And they said, okay, go. So whatever it was, it must not have been important. And I know like literally I travel with the same things all the time. So it's always the same thing in there. So I'm like, what could it be that she's even bringing up? But different countries, do sometimes have different stricter rules on things, but just make sure you keep things travel size. You should be good. So yeah, I get to my gate and I go home and security in Atlanta was another thing. It was empty. Last time when I came from Jamaica in the summer, it was like two hours. I didn't know what to expect. So it was empty. I got through maybe through customs in like 25 minutes and i didn't have any bags so i went straight out and waited for um hubby and the girls to come pick me up so this is the end of the video guys i don't know if i babbled on i tend to talk a lot um maybe i should be a talk show host or something right <laughs> so yeah if you guys have any other questions that i didn't address i'd be more than happy to assist you guys in the comments um if you have not already subscribed to my channel or our channel, because it's a family channel, I highly suggest you do I have so many things coming so, up. Stay tuned, subscribe, put on your post notifications because I'm gonna have a lot of informative videos too. Uh, like how to get your passport in a day, things like that. So things that I know that a lot of people might not know or how to get around things. I'm the get around queen, meaning if they say no, I'm gonna find a way to get a yes. Trust me, I got stories for days. But I'm not gonna babble on anymore. I'm gonna end this video because I'm sure it's gonna be super, super long. But I wanna thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for uh, subscribing, for those who have subscribed and for those who are going to subscribe. And if you have any videos that you want to see from me, I'm always open and all ears. And as my page grows and as our family page um, gets more uh, variety of things, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I am so appreciative of all of you. And thank you. And that's what I why I do what I do. And until next time, deuces.